Hello and welcome to my home. Today I'm going to do video number two on growing microgreens and I'm going to talk about the containers, the growing medium, and the seeds that you use for growing your microgreens. But before we go there, I want to let you know that I have other types of videos on my channel. I have easy to prepare recipes, product reviews, videos on how to grow a variety of vegetables and containers, and meditation videos. So let's go ahead and get started with video number two. So let's talk about containers first. So there's different type of containers you can have for your microgreens. This is just a simple cereal bowl. It doesn't have any holes in the bottom, so you have to be a little more careful about watering it, but you can see how well these are doing. You can also use other food grade type containers. Food grade means is that you can cook or store food in it and it's been you know engineered in such a way that you can do that. Now this is a, um, a pan that I recycled. Um, it's a regular foil, foil cooking pan that you can find in any store and for these pans I like to punch little holes in them. I'm gonna give you a close So here's shot. a closer shot of the um, foil pan. I just punched some holes in the pan to give drainage and this is another way that I'm going to keep my plants watered and I'll show you that the difference between watering it this way and watering it with a container that has no holes in it. Here's another pan. This is just a microwavable dish. The common theme between all these containers is that they're not deep. These are not going to be deep like your regular outside growing pots. They don't need to be deep. deep. We're not going to use soil and I'll talk about that next. What I like about microgreens is that you're not um, wedded to using soil. You can use soilless mediums and that can make it less messy when you're growing inside your home. I don't know about you, but when I grow things in the house and I do grow um, things in the house, I start my vegetable seeds in the house for planting outdoors and, and I have plants, but it can be messy. So what I like to use is a soilless medium. And this one right here, you can get this off online. I got this from Amazon. It's a hemp fiber grow mat and that is very good for growing microgreens. In fact, this is what I have in the bottom of this pan. Or I should say pan, bottom of this cereal bowl. And they're doing quite nicely. Now you don't have to use the hemp pad. I wrote a list out so let me check my list. You can use jute fibers. You can find jute pads online. Um, something made out of coconut core. Are also um, growing mediums you can use for your microgreens. It has some variety there. So that is what I like because we're just going to use the soilless medium in our growing and water and the seeds. Really simple. You don't have to fertilize. So let's talk about the seeds. You can get micro seeds online very easily. Sometimes they come in a kit. I order these. These are um, several different varieties of microgreens in here and the thing is to find a company, a reputable company that you can buy microgreens from. I think also some of the regular seed companies also have microgreens which brings me to this. Can you use your regular seeds to grow microgreens? Sure you can. Um, that's not a problem but the thing is you need to be aware of something. You cannot use vegetables that are in the nightshade family for microgreens. And you're like, why? Why is that? So there's a certain certain chemical in there that can make it harmful to you when you do when you eat the um the stems and the leaves or the microgreens from the nightshade. So what are nightshade plants? So I did do a little Googling for you, so I got some notes. Vegetables include um, different types of peppers, banana peppers, hot peppers, eggplants paprika, potatoes, Thai peppers, again all types of peppers, tomatillos in the fruit um, family, tomatoes are in the fruit family, they're a nightshade, um, Jerusalem cherries, gooseberries, goji berries, and you also have some herbs that are also considered nightshades. Um, ironically something called the devil's herb is a nightshade so you do not want to use that as your uh, microgreen. They're called grape moral, bittersweet, and those types of things. Now this is not a comprehensive list. 
you can always Google. If you have some plant that you're just not sure, Google it and see what family it's in. And that way you know. And not to scare anybody, but if you really don't know and can't Google it and can't find it, you can call your local poison control and see if that um, particular plant you're interested in for being a microgreen is part of the nightshade family. You can even call your county um, extension office and they know all types of things about growing stuff. So um, those are some of the resources that you have to keep yourself safe when you're growing your microgreens. So you're like, well, gosh, well, what can I grow? There's a lot you can grow and I did a list of that as well. So hang in there. Okay, so what good things can be microgreens? Cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, watercress, radish, arugula, lettuce, endive, dill, carrots, fennel, celery, garlic, onions, leek, beets, spinach, even melon, cucumber, and squash. So you got a big variety that you can grow. And you can also grow something like alfalfa and some of those um, cereal type as your um, microgreens as well. So it's a big list that you can So let's grow. talk about some of the other things you need. You're gonna need some type of watering bottle. I just have a small one. You also should have some dedicated shears that are just dedicated to your um, microgreens and they should be clean and uh, this helps with the sanitation process. And again, uh, for any of the containers that I mentioned, you need to wash and rinse them really well so they're done nice and clean and sterile as well so that you can have the most sanitary microgreen growing experience possible. That was video two. Video three, I'm gonna show myself actually planting some of the um, seeds and getting things going for my microgreens. If you like that video, hit the thumbs up like button and consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. That's it.